Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to focus on the development length for solid models and I'd like to reuse some features like measurements, relations and perimeter in the sketch. So let's start. We will create new 3D model and in the model we will create first sketch. In the first sketch I will create a simple two lines for example like this and for example, we will specify the fillet. Yeah, so I will select the fillet here and we can change the couple of dimensions. So you can specify your custom dimensions as you want. Yeah, so for example, whole line will be 400. This length will be 130, it's okay. And then under the dimension, you can change as you want. So for example, 150, it's okay. So we have specified all necessary dimension, but we do not know the length of the curve. What you can do is you can create a parameter dimension in the sketch and select the references, select curves. If you will select necessary curves, you can come from OK and then system ask you on the left bottom side, variable dimension. So for example, you can variable this dimension. And what does it mean? You can see right now here, it's a parameter value and length of the curve is 479 approximately. Yeah? So for example, you would like to specify 400, 500, for example. Yeah. What does it mean? The system will change relatively the variable dimension. So altogether, if you will count the length of this curve will be 500, for example, millimeters. If you will change it, for example, 550, the variable dimension will be changed. Okay, 500 is possible to remember, so we'll leave it for 500. If I will finish, you know that in the sketch we have a dimension parameter, but I'd like to show you more, so I'd like to show you that it is possible to create an analyze feature and specify the length. And you know that it is possible to create and measure the length of the curve. If you will select the control button more curves, so the system will specify total curve length you can see 500 that's great and over here is the possible to select create a feature so you see that the system can create a feature the name will be total length of the parameter and then you can specify so the system will create the feature with the parameter total length so if i will close you can see that in the model tree the system creates for me necessary measurements Okay, what does it mean? If you will change the value in the sketch, the system will approximate, automatically apply the change of deformation in the measurements analysis feature. Okay, let's continue. What we would like to do is we would like to create, for example, the extrude feature and it will be the stride shape. So, for example, we would like to create something like this and this shape, what I would like to create here quickly, for example, like this we would like to bend. So yes, of course, you can create the sweep feature, but if you will create and use the sweep feature, the system will do not use and create or possible to create the straight curve or straight shape and the um, bended shape. And for now, if I will confirm, you can see that I'd like to extrude this feature and you know that is necessary to specify the extrude feature 500 because you know that this the length of the curve is 500 but what does it mean if you will change it in the future again you need to change manually the extrude feature so i would like to reuse the functionality of the creo it's a parametric modeling so we would like to drive from one parameter to another feature additional parameter how you can do it you can simply jump into relation and in the relations is possible to drive local parameters. Nothing is here. Standard parameters are here, for example, name and additional feature, what you are using in the drawing mode here, yes, so you can specify your custom name. So for example, it will be like this. But I don't want to use the standard name, drawing number and so on, but I like to reuse current and all sub features. And what does it mean? The system will show me all additional features and parameters and our parameter is what we would like to use as this one and what does it mean we would like to use it for the definition of the length so 
If you will jump in the relation, select feature and system will show a necessary dimension. I'd like to set this dimension is equal to total length. And you can see here that it's possible to select insert to relation. And if you will check relation, everything is fine. What does it mean? Total length is 500. If I will confirm and regenerate, the system will specify that my diameter or dimension is 500. If you will change the shape over here right now by edit function, for example, and you would like to specify, sorry, parameter, the length of the parameter will be 600. You can see the length of the extrude feature is automatically changed. So for example, 800, or you can see here that if I will specify like this, the system will automatically do it. So you can regenerate. And right now the length is again in off. 808. So your model is straight, perfect, possible to show, for example, straight shape. And if you would like to bend this object regarding this curve, like I have shown you in the last tutorial, you can use the spinal bend and the system asks you which geometry you would like to bend, so this one. And in reference tab, you can use the spine curve. Okay, what is necessary to be careful that where is the start point of the curve and is on the opposite side. So over here is the question if it is possible to change the arrow. Yes, of course, it's possible to select simply the arrow and the system will define the different start point. Perfect. So if I will confirm, we have a shape as we need. Yep, yeah, painted regarding the sketch. And the question is of how you would like to drive. In the assembly mode, you will place this component because it's necessary to see the bended shape. Or you can drive the visibility by Pro Program. Please check the previous tutorial. I have explained it, how it's possible to define and drive the feature by Pro Program, or how it is possible to define the flexibility. Over here, I'd like to show you how it's possible to work with the simplify representation. So if you will select the view manager, it's possible to define the new as the new name. And you can set, for example, stride. Yeah. So this is the name of the simplify representation. And you can select the feature and exclude feature. So I don't want to see the spinal bend. What does it mean? If I will confirm, confirm and done, the system will show me the straight shape. Master model is the bandit and stride is definite as we need. In today's video tutorial, you have seen how it's possible to create the parameter dimension, custom analysis, feature, and then we have reused it by the relation and definition by simplified representation. I hope so that you like this video. Please leave me a comment or Buy me a coffee. Thank you and bye-bye. Vladimir.